Hey everyone, Vivek here, and I'm a co-founder of Pragly, which is a virtual office for remote teams. The next thing we're going to be doing is a little bit crazy, and we haven't done it before, so we're a little bit nervous about it, but it's a publicity stunt. We're going to be taking a U-Haul, and we're going to get two banners which say Work From Anywhere Pragly on it, and stick it on the side of the U-Haul. And then we're going to drive the U-Haul over to South Park, San Francisco, where basically all the VCs and technology quote-unquote influencers are. And then we're going to take out our table, we're going to take out our chairs, and then put it on top of the U-Haul and start working on top of the U-Haul. So at the worst case, we hope it'll be a hilarious stunt. Uh, and at the best case, we hope it actually gets us a lot of signups. And um, hopefully, maybe even some media outlets will actually pick it up and start to talk about it. That would be the best case scenario. So we decided to get a 10-foot U-Haul in order to do the stunt. And if you look at the dimensions of it, there's plenty of space on top. It's around 10 feet long, six feet wide, and eight feet tall. So it's ideal to be on top of it. And it's a nice smooth rectangular surface on both sides. So that's gonna work out well for us. So once we determined what U-Haul type we needed, we also needed to determine what type of banner we wanted. So we got this nice 10 by eight banner, which says work from anywhere Pragly on it with a nice vibrant background. So once we settled on this design, we decided to order it and it got shipped to us within a couple of days. So once we finished designing the banners, we needed to actually go pick up the U-Haul and prepare the U-Haul for the stunt the next day. Doug and I are on our way to pick up the U-Haul at Candlestick. Here we go. Okay, so I just got to U-Haul, signed my contract, got my keys, and I'm ready to go. Here's the U-Haul. But I'm in my U-Haul uh, right now, and we are headed to Home Depot to install everything and make sure that everything's in order. So we'll see how this goes. All right, just got my U-Haul to Home Depot and uh, ready to get the supplies that we need to install the banners. Okay, so we're at Home Depot, and then we bought a ladder, and now here's what it looks like. And we have Douglas over there probably drowned out by the sunlight, testing out the, the U-Haul, but it looks like things are pretty flimsy on top, so he's a little yeah. bit scared to do a... Here, hand me the, if you hand me the camera, I can show the people real quick. Is this material kind of gives. And I tried standing up and kind of bent more than I was comfortable with. So um, we're trying to deal with that right now. Okay, so this is the inside of the U-Haul. And Doug is definitely on top of that part of the sheet metal right now, and it's definitely bending, so that's a little bit suspicious. So Doug and I bought a ratchet tie-down, which I had no clue about before, but basically you string it through our little banner. Uh, so this is one side of it, and this is gonna be connected all the way around the U-Haul the other banner which is over there which has the exact same thing and then it's all going to be tightened by this thing that that Doug is holding right now and we have no clue how to use this but we'll report back in a second all right so now we're draping it along the top of the U-Haul and uh Doug's about to give me the other side he's right here here we go and hopefully this works out all right guys so we cinched the sides of this together and we're about to pull down our first side. Um, ready to do it? Let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Woo. Woo. All right. Let's see what it looks like. Eh? Eh? Kind of sagging on one side. Sagging on one side. Okay, some stuff, some stuff to fix. We're gonna do the other side now too. Doug's on the other side. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Might have the same problem, huh? Yeah, definitely. Oh well. Looks All good. right. Same problem to fix. We got this though. So it worked out well, um, and we're super stoked about it. But now we're starting to disassemble everything. So we need to make sure that these are clipped so they don't start flapping in the wind. So that's the next thing we need to do. And Doug is getting some clips right now, and he's on his way. I see him right here. Clips. We're gonna get started clipping right now. So we finally got everything clamped up and it seems to be in a good position to actually be able to drive. All right guys, so we parked it and that should be it for the rest of the day. So 
cross fingers for tomorrow morning. Some you little bum, I take the cake, but you can't get a crumb from the poetic, authentic, superior, ultimate, and all that good shit. Okay, I'm walking to the car right now. I'm really hoping that nothing's been vandalized because that would be super tragic. But I can't say that'd be entirely surprised since it's pretty common in San Francisco, but we'll see. Okay, it seems like everything is still okay. I see that part of the banner is still good. Coming to the other side. This part of the banner looks pretty good. Okay, so we just parked at the South Park. Got a good location. Remember, that's where all the, the hustle and bustle is. And we're right here. So hopefully we should get a decent amount of flow of people and foot traffic this way. Doug is setting the table on top of the U-Haul right now. It seems like it's pretty stable. We're gonna do it. We're gonna put the tablecloth on top of the table, uh, perpendicular to these, so people can see them from both directions, any direction really. Okay, so Doug set the whole thing up on the top. He's got a couple chairs there, our lap, lap tables, and the virtual office for remote teams on the tablecloth, in addition to work from anywhere on the sides. Looking pretty good. So this is the view from the top of the U-Haul. Got our chairs here. Popping areas over there. Up there. And we'll see what happens. So we're stopping to eat a little bit. Got to make sure that we have a nourished morning. So after we finished eating, we stuck around for a little bit of time, but there wasn't that much foot traffic actually. We, the, most of the conversations we were having were friends or VCs who were happened to be in the area. So we weren't getting a lot of conversations. We weren't seeing ourselves blow up virally on Twitter or any of these social channels. So we decided to switch locations to a different area. And initially we decided to do Salesforce Tower, but after driving around for a while, there just wasn't enough parking over there that was good enough. So we eventually found a place that was in Soma, which is also in downtown on Spear and Mission in front of a Super Duper Burger, which was pretty funny. Okay, so we switched to a different location with a lot more foot traffic. So more embarrassing, but also a ton more people, which is good. When we were at Spear and Mission, we got a ton more foot traffic and a lot more people were looking at our stunt and actually smiling, which is great. But none of them were sharing our experience on social and neither were they actually stopping to actually start conversations with us. So at the final tail end, the last couple of hours of having the U-Haul, we decided to go to different landmark locations inside of San Francisco, Alamo Square, Twin Peaks, and just decided to take some staged photos of ourselves working on top of the U-Haul. Okay, so we wrapped up at South Park and went to a couple different locations, but now we're just going to take photos uh, just for Instagram and other places <laughs> to uh, get uh, me working on top of the U-Haul. So right now we have Golden Gate Park, in the, uh, Golden Gate Bridge back, sorry, in the background. We're going to try to get that. Doug's going to be on top of his car and uh, he's going to try to take a good photo, so we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so the next stop is Alma Square, which we're at right now. You see the painted ladies in the background, and Doug is maneuvering the car to get in a better position to take the photo. It's a little bit scarier up here since everything's at an incline. So once we finished taking those photos at Chrissy Field, Alma Square, and Twin Peaks, we wrapped up for the day. You know, we took the U-Haul back to Candlestick and got some food afterwards and wrapped it all up. If you like this video, feel free to follow us on Twitter, at Virtually Vivek, at Doug Serfino, or at Pregly HQ. Until next time. Some you little bum, I take the cake, but you can't get a crumb from the poetic authentic superior.